Hey guys, so the new combat trailer for Sonic Frontiers just dropped and I have to say that I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I've always wanted a more combat focused Sonic game, or at least a Sonic game with more combat elements in it, and it looks like Frontiers is where it's at. However, while I do think the combat is in the right direction, I do think there can be improvements to make it even better. First I'll talk about all the things I like about the combat, and then talk about some criticisms I have. To start, I really love that Sonic Frontiers adds to Sonic's arsenal of abilities. The Sonic we play as in Frontiers feels like a refinement of the Sonic from Generations, Unleashed, Colors, and Forces. Most of Sonic's abilities from those games also make the return to Frontiers. From the quick step to the homing attack to the stomp, Frontiers keeps Sonic's moves we've been familiar with for the past decade and adds to it. Sonic has his classic homing attack which seems to stagger enemies or initiate Sonic's rapid attacks. Sonic will perform a series of rapid punches and kicks which seems to be a primary way of attacking enemies in Frontiers. Sonic also has a new ability called the Spin Cycle which can send enemies in the air and stagger enemies who are guarding or are protecting a weak spot. You can also perform it on multiple enemies at once to send them all in the air. Sonic also seems to have a variety of special attacks, from an epic kick to some epic tornado spin to this thing that looks like it's straight out of Kingdom Hearts, Sonic is strapped to kick some ass in this game. Sonic also finally has a projectile attack. Sonic can perform this rapid kick move that will send out waves of energy to hit the enemy. It's about fucking time. I'm also loving the variety of different methods and moves Sonic will be able to use to attack. What I also love is that Sonic will have to change his methods of attacking. You won't be able to just spam the attack button. Some enemies will require you to use the spin cycle to stagger them, others will require you to dodge their incoming attacks, and the bigger enemies will require you to run up them first before attacking a weak spot. Some enemies appear to die in one hit, while others need to take a beating first before they disappeared. I think as long as there are more enemy types that require different ways of engaging, the combat could prove to be quite fun. I also enjoyed seeing the lock-on system. While there wasn't any HUD or reticle shown, the way the camera moves upon engaging an enemy shows that there will be some sort of lock-on system so you can fight with an enemy one-on-one. -on -one. There also appears to be a dodge mechanic that might tie into quick-stepping. A few times Sonic dodged an attack and the camera did one of those dramatic quick pauses to indicate that you successfully pulled off the dodge. Overall, I'm really liking the combat, but I do have some criticisms with it. First off, the animations. Most of them seem solid, especially when Sonic is pulling off his special moves. But when doing the rapid punching and kicking, Sonic literally has two animations he swaps between, a straightforward punch and a straightforward kick. Sonic literally goes back and forth between punching forward and kicking forward, and it's really dull. I was hoping for more of a combo based system, or something with light and heavy attacks, a button to perform weak but quicker attacks, and a button to perform slower but hard hitting attacks outside the special attacks and spin cycle that is. I think by adding something like that, you not only change the way you can land hits, but you can require strategy to take down certain enemies. For example, an enemy can only take damage from heavy attacks, but to stagger it you have to repeatedly hit it a bunch of times first. This would allow for different enemy types and different playstyles. Some enemies should require heavy hits, while others can be killed by button mashing. Doing this forces the player to constantly switch up your attack methods, and it also eliminates button mashing throughout the entirety of the game. I also thought Sonic could have used a block or parry mechanic. A button that allows Sonic to block, but if you hit it at the perfect time, just as the enemy attacks, you could stagger the enemy. Two games that I think really utilize this well is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and an indie game inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog called Spark the Electric Gesture. In these games, if you manage to block an attack just before an enemy lands it, you'll stagger the enemy and open them up for an attack. This is definitely a mechanic I think Frontiers could benefit from as it fits the combat style and feels really satisfying to pull off if done correctly in the games mentioned previously. Which brings me to a wish I want to make. I hope this game has rival fights. With the game being more combat focused, I want to see a fight between Sonic and Shadow or Sonic and Silver in this style. We got to fight Metal, Shadow, and Silver in a more boost, running based fight in Sonic Generations. But Sonic Frontiers has the potential to create some really flashy and memorable fights, especially with some one on ones we Sonic fans have been wanting for a very long time. Overall, I think as long as there are a lot more enemies in the open world, different types of enemies, and just a few other ways Sonic can attack and defend himself, the combat can bring itself from a 6 to a solid 10. 
The combat looks really fun, and it's a lot different watching a game versus playing it. The combat doesn't look stale, but I could see it getting old very quickly if there isn't a variety and enemies aren't more challenging later on. I'm guessing the area Sonic is in in the trailer must be near the start, as Sonic is able to take out a few enemies with a simple homing attack, so I can only hope that there'll be more challenge to come later on. Also, if the leaks are true about Sonic having a skill tree, this could really change things up as well. I'd love to see Sonic get more special moves and abilities, along with some kind of block or parry that can really shake up the combat in this game. I think the combat has a lot of potential. While the whole game looks great already, I do think it can be vastly improved in a number of different ways, including the combat, even if ever so slightly to ensure it never gets repetitive and too button mashy. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about the combat system in Sonic Frontiers? Does it look good or too repetitive? How would you improve it if you could? Comment your thoughts, opinions, and some of your ideas down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we ask that you check out and subscribe to our second channel, Real Life Glitch Entertainment, where we have Sonic animations and other cool live action content you'll definitely be interested in if you like Sonic. But until then, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.